Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Lord of the Rings LCG playthrough. And this time we are testing the Defenders of Gondor starter deck that recently released. Now we are playing against the journey along the Anduin. And uh, I have not made any changes to the pre-built deck for this starter deck. Uh, the box has or the pack has um, extra cards for you to deck build but I am testing this deck uh, straight out of the box to see how it performs. There is a handy booklet here that uh, tells you uh, what is the main idea of the deck. Uh, for the Gondor deck it is to uh, have 40 threat and uh, then your uh, some of your cards will get more powerful if you are in a high threat situation but we'll see how that functions in practice. So without further delay let's get started. Okay, we are ready to begin. Uh, we only need to finish the setup, so I'll do that next. So, uh, just quickly going through the heroes, we have Boromir. So Boromir gives all Gondor allies plus one fight uh, combat power uh, when uh, he has at least one resource in his resource pool. Then we have uh, Prince Imra Imrahil, uh, and he will ready after a character leaves play once per round, so we can commit him to tests, um, have an ally be <laughs> uh, run over in the combat phase and he'll ready to fight. So then we have Mubling, uh, Mublung, I mean, um, <clears throat> Mublung is a tactic ally, the rest are leadership allies, so Mublung will um, get an resource to his resource pool after you engage an enemy so hopefully we can manage those resources with, with the help of Mablung and some of the leadership cards we are drawing. Uh, let's finish up the scenario setup so uh, we have shuffled the deck so we'll turn one and count the card to the staging area. We get uh, Dal Guldur Beastmaster which is a tougher enemy and because we didn't draw a troll, I have been playing this a bit wrong lately, but now I read the card correctly. So if we won't reveal a troll in that step, we will reveal the troll now and put it into the staging area. And because we are uh, threat 32 at the start, this troll will engage us immediately uh, in the first combat or in encounter phase. So we can't avoid the troll. Okay, and let's put that there. We are ready to draw our opening hand, so let's draw our six cards and see what we get. Hoping to get some cheap allies or something else good. Well, we got an errant rider, which is okay, I think. We get a valiant sword. Only got well, we didn't get any allies, so I uh, accept the errant rider. So I am not actually really keen on this hand, so I will mulligan. Gandalf is good, but not for the early game because we don't have the resources for playing Gandalf. The other cards were fine, but I want some more cheap allies to have him play as fast as possible. Okay, just quick shuffle and draw the six more cards. Uh, one too many. Okay, so... Well, <laughs> this is even worse, but it is what it is. So, Foe Hammer, Valiant Sacrifice, Visionary Leadership, Steward of Gondor, Squire of the Citadel, and Faint. So... Not the best hand, but we'll see how the game progresses. So we start our first turn, we go to the resource phase, we draw a card, Valiant Sword, and we gain three, uh, gain resources to the heroes. Um, I think 
we will be playing the squire because we need to defend against the troll somehow. I'll use Boromir because we are not fighting with this, so we don't need the um, we don't need the squire's weapon uh, or attack power that Boromir gives. Then um, hmm, I think. We want the Valiant Sword in play, so we'll put it on here. I think we're not just just not questing at the first round. We just want to try and deal them as much damage to the heal troll as po possible. So that is. Uh, well, we have the fell hammer. After you are your control attacks and destroys and exhausts the weapon or cards. Well, that's useful once we get there. But I think that is everything we want to play at this point. We'll go to questing phase. Mm. Well, we'll quest with Prince Imrahil because the squire will get defeated once the troll hits. So we reveal a Encounter card. We are uh, two against three, and it is a location enchanted stream. So while enchanted stream is the active location, players cannot draw cards. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, um, we are five against two, so we add three. So we are thirty-five, which is really bad because now this also engages us so we are immediately in trouble with this deck <laughs> that is just how it is well we'll travel over here we won't be drawing cars but now at least we can we don't have anything in the staging area okay let's see so i will defend against the troll this I will leave unengaged, but we have the faint. Oh yeah, and we gain our resource because we engage, a, we engage an enemy. So we'll decide not to... Yeah, so we'll start with the troll. So we get a shadow card. It does nothing, but the troll defeats the squire, and after squire of Stedan leaves play, add one resource to a Gondor hero's resource pool. So we'll add one here. Then I will faint, so the Beastmaster won't attack. Then I think I want to also. Also, Prince Imrahil ready is because the squire was defeated or left play. So I'll. Oh, yeah, and the troll overkilled the squire by five. So we are at 40 threat already. So I will just. So now the, the Valiant Sword is plus two fighter. Okay, so Boromir is five, um, uh, combat 5, Imrahil is combat 3, but we need, uh, okay, no point in atta attacking the troll. Oh yeah, and I can't draw cards because of this location, well that sucks. But I think we'll just defeat this enemy, so we only have to deal with the troll anymore. And that is everything. I can't draw cards or, or use the foe hammer to draw cards because um, I can't draw cards. Well, we'll figure out that later. So we'll go to the 
uh, refresh phase so we add one threat to the dial ready up and go to the next round so that is that round let's go to the next round hmm okay so we can draw cards but we'll get resources I think uh, we'll add the visionary leadership here and uh, or no uh, we'll add steward of gondor there tap it to, and add visionary leadership okay so that is exhausted <coughs> so now uh, we really can't quest because we need to uh, use all of our strength to fight the damn troll. And even then it will be killing us. So we are in a really ba bad situation. Well, it is what it is. This might be a really short game, but yeah, we'll go to the encounter phase. So zero against zero. And... Uh, we get Misty Mountain Goblins. After Misty Mountain Goblins attacks, remove uh, one progress token from the current quest. Okay, well, we add two threats from that. Yeah, we are just stuck with the location and the troll. This can happen in a true solo game because if I can't draw cards, I can't get answers to my situation and that just sucks but that is Lord of the Ring LCG for you let's go to the encounter phase so this will engage us um, I will uh, use uh, well this will all only die against the hill troll so I have to defend with Boromir against the troll this I leave unengaged or undefended so we'll get the shadow cards so the troll attacking enemy gets plus one fight and uh, that is enough to kill Boromir so bye bye Boromir this might be my shortest game ever but but whatever <laughs> uh, we didn't take any excess damage but still this will hit us for Two damage. I'll just put it on here. And uh, of course, because we engage an enemy, this guy gets a resource, but that, that just doesn't matter. These two, well, uh, we get a shadow card, of course. Defending character doesn't count, it's. Uh, but that didn't matter. And uh, we would remove progress, but we don't have any. So these two will attack and kill off this enemy. And that is it, so we ready up. Uh, yeah, we are just slowly, slowly dying to the troll now because we don't have answers to defeat it. We add one threat to the dial. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We don't throw any cards. We we might as well just quest to get rid of this. Yeah, I should have done this earlier, but yeah, it is what it is. So these two will quest. <laughs> we are zero against five. I am actually I have this, so I have plus one. So zero against six. Each enemy and each location currently in the staging area. Well, this can search. Deal one damage to each character controlled by each player with the threat. Okay, so we'll take extra damage. How fun. But we'll defeat this one. And we also add progress over here. Okay, uh, encounter phase. The troll engages or is engaged and hits. So 6 versus 0 defense. And it's eight, so we tread out.
52 threat and uh, this is dead. So that is the game. Hope you guys like this play playthrough. Well, I'll talk about the, the deck a bit because we got really unlucky uh, with the encounter deck by getting that location. I misplayed by traveling to that location. It stopped me from drawing cards because we had uh, this event in hand which we could have played this that we could have played so we would have been drawing five cards on the first turn so we got a lot of allies here which would have helped us defeat the troll so I misplayed there but it is what it is I'm not that uh, exper experienced with this game so I make stupid mistakes like that all the time Unfortunately, I did this mistake while filming this playthrough, so you really didn't get to see how the deck functions at all. But I'll talk a little about the deck. So we have a lot of cheap allies here, which we can play. Uh, Boromir would boost their attack power when he has resources. And uh, we have a lot of uh, resource shifting going around with some of these allies. I have played one game with this, but I didn't get a lot farther in this scenario. In that game either, um, I just got overwhelmed with uh, locations and enemies and the, threat, uh, the staging area was full, so I was losing the threat quite fast in that game too. The problem with this deck uh, in a true solo game is that you start from 32, so the troll immediately engages you. That is a really hard not to crack you really have have to have an answer for the troll in your starting hand and we got locked with that location for drawing any answers to the troll mm. you can combo uh, prince imrahil really well with the cheap allies you just throw one in in a way of the troll or another enemy uh, then he ready so you can quest some with him then fight with him because he has a really good fight also and uh, of course we got the Stuart of Gondor which is really important to get resources. Uh, visionary leadership is okay I think and uh, we have Gondorian shield and stuff like that in the deck so if we would have drawn that we could have uh, fought the troll better. We would have our high defense so we wouldn't be dying with the heroes, but uh, it is what it is. I, I won't be uh, retrying this on camera because uh, even the test game I did before filming didn't go that well. And I think this scenario is really hard with this previous deck. So, uh, all in all, the deck. Seems fine in a multiplayer game, but for true solo, I highly recommend the other pre-built decks that came out. Still, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.